Say good night, Scooter. Scooter's mother looked up from the book she was reading to him. That's a cricket, she said. She lives in the field below our tree. Listen, she's calling good night. As Scooter listened, his nose wriggled. Good night, cricket, he chattered. And happily climbed in bed. Every night, just before bedtime, Scooter and his mother would listen for his friends in the forest. And every night, there would be Owl calling from the tallest tree. Good night, Owl, Scooter would chatter. And there would be Cricket chirping in the grassy field. Good night, Cricket, Scooter would chatter. And then he, he'd snuggle way down in his warm bed and go to sleep. One night when Scooter was nestled in his bed, he heard a new sound. Up perks his ears. With his nose twisting and wriggling. He peered out into the night and listened. He had never heard the soft, gentle sound before. What's that noise, Scooter asked his eyes wide. He scampered to the doorway to see if there was anything to see. His mother turned from the acorn she was counting. Her nose wiggled as she listened for the strange new sound Scooter was hearing. Then she smiled at him and quietly said, That's just the rain. Scooter liked the sound of the rain in his ears. But he wondered if the owl and the cricket would be all right. Your friends will be fine, Scooter's mother told him. The branches and the leaves will be their umbrellas. If you are very, very quiet, you can still hear them calling to you. Again, Scooter perked up his ears. Then he listened oh so quietly, and sure enough, he heard them. Good night, Owl. Good night, Cricket. The little squirrel chattered into the darkness. Scooter grew sleepier and sleepier as he listened to the pitter-patter of the rain. He wrapped his bushy tail around himself and gave his nose a sleepy wiggle. Good night, Rain, he chattered. And then he yawned. Then Scooter closed his eyes and drifted off to sleep. Good night, Scooter.